What's up subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about some updates for ADMA Biologics stock, ticker ADMA. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some recent news regarding ADMA Biologics and taking a look at the chart and doing some technical analysis for the current stock prices. But first, if you'd like to get updates about our new videos discussing the stock market and personal finances, as well as being entered into our 1000 subscriber giveaway, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're down there, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Robinhood and Webull if you haven't already. So with all of that being said, grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. For those of you that missed my last video where I discussed ADMA, ADMA Biologics is a small cap, late stage biopharmaceutical company that develops, manufactures, and intends to market specialty plasma-based biologics for the treatment and prevention of infectious diseases. Since the last time we discussed ADMA Biologics, we just recently got some news from analysts earlier today about what they expect ADMA to report on their next quarterly earnings report. In this article, four analysts made estimates for ADMA Biologics earnings, with estimates ranging from $11 million to $12 million for the quarter. When comparing this to the same quarter last year, ADMA Biologics posted sales of $12.04 million, which means that the current estimates from analysts would represent a negative year-over-year -year growth rate of approximately 4%. ADMA Biologics last reported earnings on Tuesday, November 10th, and in that earnings report, they did come out with a negative EPS of $0.19 cents per share, which was on par with what analysts were expecting. But whenever you looked at their revenue, they actually beat on expectations, reporting $10.28 million of revenue in that quarter, which beat analysts' expectations of $9.55 million. They did, however, continue to report a negative net margin of approximately 166% and a negative return on equity of 98.83%. With all of that being said for the short term, however, analysts overall seem to be quite bullish whenever it comes to ADMA Biologics, and to be honest, I am as well. In this article, analysts who follow ADMA Biologics reported that on average they expected to see an increase of close to 300% over the next 12 months alone. Those same analysts give the stock an average rating of a strong buy. As of the time I'm recording this video, ADMA is currently trading for $2.25 per share. And taking a look at ADMA's chart for the past one month, as well as the past five days, you can see that overall it has been on quite a nice uptrend. Taking a look at the recent six month chart from more of a technical perspective, you can see that historically, ADMA seems to have support right at around $1.82 per share, as well as resistance at just under $3 per share. And I would argue that we're also seeing an area of resistance at right around $2.50 per share, which is going to be the next area that ADMA is going to have to break through. Now I've seen price targets for analysts ranging anywhere from $7 per share up to $9 per share over the next 12 months. And while I don't know where exactly ADMA Biologics is going to be one year from now, honestly, I think that it's a no-brainer that it's going to be trading at over $6 per share. And I could easily see this being at least a 2x compared to where it's trading right now. With all of that being said though, anytime you're considering investing in a company that has a market cap as small as ADMA does, you're definitely taking on some inherent risk. So for any investor out there who's considering investing in ADMA, you definitely should do your own research and consider having some stop losses to limit any potential downside. While this company does have a ton of upside potential to it, anything could happen that could cause this company to go down in the short term. What are your thoughts on ADMA Biologics? Do you agree with analysts with their price targets? Is this a company that you're invested in? And where do you think that the share price is going to be at one year from now? Comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, be sure to comment and let me know if there are any other stocks or topics that you want me to talk about in future videos. And definitely be on the lookout for one video in particular where I'll be talking about a company that I know a ton about, Avanos. It's a medical equipment company that I am quite familiar with due to my specialty. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. If you haven't already, be sure to check out this video about how to participate in our 1000 subscriber giveaway. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone. Have a great day.